Hello everyone, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care. So this has been a topic of discussion, uh, something that I've had a lot of comments about and uh, questions about for a while now, about the FW15 and a side catch bagger. So I have the Rackham 4.4 cubic foot catcher, side catcher, but now that I've installed the quick shoot, and I know that the quick shoot works with the side mount catchers. Well, let me show you where I'm at on this so far. So I have this three inch by three inch aluminum angle. Obviously it's not three inch by three inch anymore, but uh, what I did is I shortened up this side of it to an inch and three quarter, and then I left the three inch side. And what I'm gonna do is take my quick shoot off and this is going to act as the spacer for the quick shoot and the bracket for the Rackham catcher. So I've already got my holes drilled to match up the, the bolts. And that way I don't have to drill any extra holes in the deck or, or try to use... I was going to try to use these two holes, the original two holes. But the problem with that, as you can see, you've only got about three quarters of the hole that you can use here. And then on this side, it's almost completely covered. And uh, there's not enough space to have a, a bolt head sticking up there or anything like that. So I looked around to see what I had, and I think this would actually be... I think this will actually be perfect. It's the uh, same thickness as the spacers. It's quarter inch thick. And so the only thing I'll have to do is bolt it down using the existing bolts. Make sure it's you know flush up on the outside of the deck. And then I'll have to drill a hole for the pin on the catcher. Now, other than that, it should be uh, ready to go. Now, I made it 10 and a half inches long. And the reason for that is because I made it where it would go inside of this arm and this arm. Because those are the only two things that are going to get in the way of having a bracket there. So I just went ahead and made it where it'll fit. Where it'll fit right inside of those two arms. And then that way, you know, there's nothing in the way of the operation of the quick shoot and that's plenty long for the catcher actually my original bracket for the catcher was I think only eight or nine inches long so this is you know a little bit longer but I figured with it being aluminum even though it's a thick aluminum I want to make sure that it's you know got plenty of strength so anyway I'm going to unbolt the quick shoot uh, slide this under there get everything mocked up and we'll see how it but I've got my bracket finished up as you can see, just have the hole drilled for the pin, and then I notched out a slot for this piece. For this piece to fit down on a little bit farther just to kind of level out the catcher. And then I fabricated a uh, piece of sheet metal here to cover up the extra opening that's not needed for this deck. And bent up this flare to kind of catch the angle right there and it actually fits up really nice and I, I didn't do any welding just got a self-tapping screw here 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 holding that plate on so no welding involved just uh, just some quick fab and uh, what I'm gonna do is throw it on there for you guys and then we'll go use it real quick show you how it works but before we do that let me show you show you that the quick shoot still closes all the way so you can see all that there's uh, there's nothing in the way there so so we've got full use of the quick shoot with the bracket in place the brackets acting as a spacer for the quick shoot and uh, seems to be really nice and sturdy so I think it's gonna work out well but let me let me throw this catcher on here for you So you see it fits on there nice it's uh nice and snug up to the deck give you a quick walk around got just enough clearance for the tire and you can see how that flare works on the back of the deck right there so it closes up everything nicely 
um, the basket and the catcher is just a little bit below the edge of the deck um, hangs below it about a quarter maybe a half of an inch so you know definitely not enough to worry about clearance issues back here so what I'm gonna do I don't have a lot but I do have a little bit of leaves I'm gonna try to just kind of quickly catch some of these straggler leaves It really wasn't bad at all. The only downside is the dust. You know, you guys could see it's it's a very windy day, but uh, there was definitely a lot of dust, which I can, uh, you know, put some covering on this side, probably on the top, and let the dust go out the side because this particular catcher is mesh all the way around. So, you know, I could just leave this area for the dust to come out, and that would probably cut down on quite a bit of that, but not bad, and it picked up nice. Um, a couple leaves here and there that are just kind of stuck down, but I mean, I mean honestly, that uh, that cleaned up pretty nice, and it's a very simple system, you know, having that bagger on there. Plus, this catcher is 4.4 cubic feet, and the uh, factory bagger I think is two, two cubic feet, so big difference in capacity as well. So, anyways, guys, uh, for you that wanted to. Wanted to see the FW15 with the side side catch bagger and the quick shoot. There you go. So I really like this setup. Um, you know, I've tried the mulch kit, the factory bagger, different blade setups, the whole the whole deal. And so far, this is my favorite setup of all, having the side catcher for when I do want to do bagging without having to add on the uh, factory bagger, having the quick shoot, because I like 
to mow with an open deck. That's what I prefer. And so now I'll be able to run my, my regular lift blades or the super high lifts, you know, whatever I want to run and uh, be able to close that whenever I want to and be able to bag whenever I want to. So I hope this is helpful for anybody that's uh, thinking about doing the similar setup on their FW-15. I'm a big fan of the quick shoot. You know, I have run those on all of my mowers. really like them. And uh, as far as I know, this Rackham bagger still has the best price of all the baggers on the market. This is the small one. You know, I got the smaller size because um, I don't need a big one because when I use these, I attach a leaf bag to the back of it and that's where I get my capacity. This is pretty much just a directional, you know, shoot. But on this mower, with, a, you know, such a small deck size and everything, 32 inch, I think it's going to be ideal as far as bagging goes. And then I could add, you know, the leaf bag onto it if I really wanted to get crazy. But, uh, Anyway, that's it for now, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Get out there and make some money, and we'll catch you on the next one.